welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing the CSEC Biology, May, June 2016, Paper 1. So, if you're visiting my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are being uploaded. Also, give this video a thumbs up by liking it. And don't forget to show your appreciation for the hard work by watching those ads. So let's get into this paper. So I'll be just providing you with the answers to these questions. Some of them I'll read, some I won't. You can look on your screen and you can see the questions clearly. So one says, which of the following features is used to classify a group of organisms as class in sector? The answer is the number of segments. The answer for question two is C. Let's go on to question number three. So the answer for question three is A. Let's go on to number four. So here we have a diagram of a food web. Here we have your diagram. So first says trophic level one is represented by. So the answer is A. Let's go to number five. So we have a diagram of a mushroom. And the question for five says the organism shown above is a, and the answer for that is C. Let's go on to question number six and seven now. So item six to seven refer to the following options, and we have our option A, B, C, and D, and you're going to match each item with one of the options above. So six says, the relationship between a wilder pine and a flamboyant tree. The answer for six is B. So B would be your answer. Seven says, the type of relationship between leguminous plant roots and nitrogen fixing bacteria. The answer is C from your above and selections. Let's go to number eight. So here, this has been another repeated question. So we have a diagram that shows the energy flow through an ecosystem. So eight says the energy flow is not 100% efficient because energy is, the answer is B, lost through respiration and excretion. Let's go to nine. Which of the following is not an example of a renewable energy resource? The answer is A, oil. 10. Which of the following practices does not help to conserve the environment? The answer is A, overgrazing. 11. Human activities would have the least immediate impact on? The answer is D formation of, of fossil fuels. Let's go on to 12. Which of the following effects of climate change poses the greatest threat to small islands? The answer is A, rising sea levels. 13, the greatest, in, the greatest threats to the survival of coral reefs are? The answer is C, increased ocean temperatures. Go to number 14. So we have 14 here. We have a population, the group, graph of population growth. So 14 says phase four of the graph of a population growth is most likely due to the answer is D. Competition from invasive species. 15. A mature plant cell is different from a mature animal cell because the plant cell has, the answer is C, a large, there you have it, C 
is our answer. Now, item 16 refers to the following diagrams. So, there you can take a look at the diagram. And the answer for question 16 is B. 17. The answer for question 17 is A. Number 18. In a comparison between osmosis and diffusion, which of the following statements is not true? The answer is B. Let's take a look at 19 now. So we have item 19 refers to the following diagram, which represents a metabolic process carried out in plants. So there you have it there. So the question says, the food produced is, the answer is B, starch. Let's go to 20. So here we have item 20. Let's take a look at the diagram here. So we're going to, we're asked to label. So it says, which of the following statements about the labeled parts are true? So remember we have one two and three so let's look at it so the answer is for 20 b one and three only let's go to 21. so here we have another diagram which shows us the rate of photosynthesis and the light intensity so it says which of the following statements best accounts for the shape of the graph? The answer is C. As light intensity increases, there is an increase in photosynthesis until there is no further increase in the rate due to other some other limiting factor. Let's go to 22. So here we have a diagram of a tooth and three, four parts are there. So it says, which option correctly identifies the structures labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4? So we know that is C. The answer for that is C. Let's go to 23. The answer for question 23 is B. Let's go to 24. So we have another diagram here. We have a food group diagram. So it says, which two food groups should a person suffering from hypertension and diabetes limit? The answer option is B, 1 and 4. 25. The answer for question 25 is A. Let's go to 26. So the answer for question 26 is B. 27 says the role of respiration is best described as the, the answer is A, release of energy. Let's go to 28. So it says here, which of the following best identifies some of the transport substances in animals? One, amino acids, two, hormones, three, sucrose, four, respiratory gases. Our answer is one, two, and four only. So here we have a human heart, a diagram of the human heart. It says, which of the following options, 29, identifies the structures labeled one, two, three, and four. So our correct answer is A. Go to 30. So the answer for question 30 is D. Thirty-one. The essential vitamin and mineral salt required for blood clotting in humans are the answer is D. Thirty-two. Under which conditions will the rate of transpiration in plants be highest? 
The answer is B, sunny and high wind speed. 33. So the answer, the question says, translocation of sucrose in plants occurs via specialized vessel wish. The answer is C. Let's go to 34 now. So here it says, which of the following options correctly matches the storage organs to their stored nutrients? The answer is A. 35. The best description of the role of excretion in living organisms is to, the answer C, get rid of toxic waste. So here we have a diagram of a mammalian kidney nephron, 36. So here, so it says 36, which option correctly identifies the functions of the parts labeled 1, 2, and 3. The answer is B. Let's go to 37. Which of the following organs does the mammalian skeleton protect? The answer is A, stomach. 38. Which of the following correctly describes the movement in plants? The answer is C, irreversible growth or part movement. 39. Which of the following options best describes the terms, stimulus, and response? The answer is D. Go to 40 now. So here, item 40 refers to the following diagram. So it says, now which of the following options correctly identifies the structures labeled 1, 2, and 3 above? So our answer is D. Let's move on to Item 41 now. Here we have the diagram of a skin. And we're given four parts. So the question, there you have your question for 41. The answer is B. 42. The function of the chloride layer in the eye is to, the answer is B prevent internal reflection. 43 refers to the following diagram which illustrates a measurement of growth in living organisms. So which of the following is an incorrect label for the y-axis? So the answer is D, units of time. 44 refers to the following activities involved in the menstrual cycle. So there you have your four options. So 44 says which of the following is the correct sequence of activities? And the answer is A, all of them. Let's go to 45. Contraception is used primarily to A, limit the size of families. 46. Where does fertilization of the egg cell or ovum, ovum occur in flowering plants? The answer is D, embryo sac. So 47, item 47 refers to the following diagram of a flower. There we have five parts. It says, there, there is your question. And the answer for 47 is B. Let's go to 48. A vector is defined as an organism that, the answer is D, transmits disease organisms. Uh, the answer for 49 is D. Which of the following organisms transmits the yellow fever virus? 50. Which of the following are used in the management of diabetes? 1. Diet. 2. Exercise. 3. Meditation meditation the answer is a one and two only let's go to 51 so it, 51 answer is c 52 answer is c 
number 53 or answer is D. The answer for question four is A. Question 55. Variation in populations is due to, or answer is B, one, two, and four only. 56. Variation is important to populations because it ensures, the answer is A, diversity. The answer for 57 is B, one and two only. 58. Which of the following is true about natural and artificial selection? The answer is C. Let's go to 59. Which of the following is an ecological implication of genetic engineering? The answer is A, loss of biodiversity. Answer for question 60 says, which of the following describes the process of genetic engineering? The answer is D, a gene is inserted into a vector, which is then used to transfer the gene to a host cell. So we have come to the end of the CSEC Biology, May June 2016, Paper 1. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and to watch the ads. Thank you so much for watching.